Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Clayton, and I just got back from seeing Baby Driver, directed by Edgar Wright and starring Ansel Elgort, Kevin Spacey, Willie James, Elsa Gonzalez, John Hamm, John Bertholdt, and Jamie Foxx. Now, if you've seen one of Edgar Wright's other films, you're probably expecting a total non-stop action thrill ride with great music, great editing, great characters, and a good blend of romance, action, and comedy. Did I get that from Baby Driver? Yeah, I got all of that, and a bit more. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story follows a young man named Baby, played by Ansel Elcourt, who acts as a getaway driver for a, for a crime boss played by Kevin Spacey. Once he, just, once he manages to, to get straight with the crime boss, you know, get enough money so that he can get out of the criminal lifestyle, he decides he wants to have, live a nice, calm life with a waitress named Deborah, played by Lily James. However, when his criminal past rears its ugly head at him again, he has to go through various things that could ch challenge, that challenge him and make him wonder if he can ever have a normal life the way he wants to. So, the story here does seem pretty typical for this type of genre, but the way the story is told really gets you to care about Baby as well as Deborah, and it really let, let, lets you know that their love story is one that's very genuine. A lot of that has to do with the actors they got to, to play them. Ansel Elgort is very, very effective as Baby, often able to get through a scene without even saying a word. With, with limited dialogue, he's able to get across his emotions very well, and in my opinion, he's actually, his, his best scenes are when he has no lines, when he just listens to music on his iPod and just listens to everyone else talks and talk and eventually, and sometimes come up with a witty facial expression or just doesn't do anything while everyone else taunts him. He's just that good. And Lily James is Deborah. She's very nice, she's very kind, and she does eventually evolve into something more than just a typical love interest. She, the film really gets you to know why a Baby likes her and why they, those two are a match made in heaven. Kevin Spacey is, is pretty, is pretty uh, detestable and likable as the crime boss, if that makes any sense, in that he's able to get across his likable and unlikable traits in, the, in a timely fashion, and he's able to play him in a way that's actually pretty interesting. But in my opinion, the standout role is actually Jamie Foxx, because every single line of his is unbelievably hilarious to me. Whether it's his constant taunting of Baby, whether it's his mental freakouts, or whether it's one of his just witty lines, Jamie Foxx knows how to get the right amount of comedy and the right amount of terrifying disturbingness out of his character. Now let's talk about the soundtrack, because in most movie soundtracks I think that sometimes they just include pop songs for the sake of putting pop songs in movies. Not so here. In Baby Driver, every single song feels like it fits the situation, whether it's the beats of the song meeting, matching up with the action on screen in an action scene, or whether it's a romantic scene where a certain song plays to, to help set the mood, or what have you. Every single song really matters, and music actually plays a big role in the movie because, because Baby is constantly listening to songs on his iPod to, to drown out a little hum in the drum that he has. Now, the action in the movie is very, very satisfying, because the, mu the music m mixes with the action perfectly, making every punch, every bullet shot, and every explosion feel even more impactful, because there's a great song in the background that's emphasizing everything. It helps the films with, it, with its style, which when, even though some of these scenes may seem typical for, for a heist film, the music really elevates it to you remembering it even more, in that sense. The dialogue is also very witty and very well paced, filled with expletives, but also filled with a lot of references and a lot of genuinely funny, funny humor, and uh, something I'd expect from Edgar Wright. The editing is also fast paced, and it lets you see exactly what you need to see in a scene. Uh, the opening sequence in particular is very well edited and very well shot, and has a very good song. And the last thing that I'll talk about this film is the ending. Without spoiling anything, the ending is, in my opinion, a perfect way to close out the film since it gives you a satisfying conclusion while also being 
a little more realistic than more, most films of this type. And it really works with the story that they're playing off here. In that sense, I think it's actually one of the more fun heist films, not just heist films, but films of the year that I've enjoyed so far. If there's one minor criticism that I have is that the romance between Baby and Deborah gets a little slow near the second act to the point where I was sort of almost considering checking my phone or checking my watch. But that's a minor thing considering the rest of the film is pulse pounding action, great comedy, and great romance that happens to work together in a seamless blend. So this film is every bit as good as the critics say it is and you definitely should give this baby a drive. I'll give Baby Driver a 9.5 out of 10. See you next time.